Hello friends, this is Seth of the Sickness LPs, here to welcome you back to another episode of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. In which, well, if you recall in the last episode, we found this creepy guy and we were like, Nope, too creepy, not talking to you. I also got one gem off screen because this game is not very good at saving and actually putting you where you were. So you have to like start at the beginning of the level if you save and get out and then on the way back I caught a gem. It was nothing special, it was just a little red gem anyways, so... Ah, Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Okay, so as I thought, this guy is creepy, but he's not troll under the bridge type creepy. He's toll booth above the bridge type creepy. Yes, we have to give this guy our money. No, my beautiful gems. All right, so guess we might as well pay money bags the 200 gems because I mean we went out of our way to get a ton of gems earlier on. So whoa, I do not Thanks, remember getting that Spyro. many yellow gems. These gems yeah, yeah, these gems are music to your ears. To your ears. Creepy little money hoarding poetry. ears. Look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. Sure. So yeah, his. He, he, I, I, I wish I could make magical bridges appear with gems. Jeez, that, that sounds like fun. It's more useful than just having a bunch of shiny things sitting in my imaginary pockets. Anywho, so yeah, that's what you do with this guy. And now we are back up here. How are you guys today? Today is... I don't know anymore what else is new. Good but, work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. Yeah, so I don't know who this Toshiro guy is, or what famous martial arts actor he is, but... <laughs> Obviously, the developers of this game thought he was a little dense, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if I sounded surprised, that's probably because I really have no idea who Toshiro is. I, like, I recognized all the other names until now, but if anyone can tell me who Toshiro is ripping off, that would be pretty cool. And yeah, so we got a few gems around here. I'm gonna grab some, but as I said, you do not need gems anymore, to be perfectly honest. But you know what we do need? Shiny dragonflies! And those dragonflies are not even slightly as shiny as the gems, so I don't know why I need the dragonflies. Why can't I settle for gems? But I guess we need the dragonfly, so... Hey, it's gone. You caught a rock tree thing. Beautiful. Dawn, you're the least ugly dragonfly I've ever seen. And the sad part is that that may be true. Nah, I'm kidding. Anywho, so yeah, now that you've caught Dawn, there is another dragon here who lost his kite. Jeez, they all lose their kite. What do you have to say? Like, ser seriously. How did you lose this one? I've been trying to climb this bonsai tree all day. There's something shiny up there, and I just know it's the kite I lost last summer. Um, I have one major important question. Why are you still standing here if you lost it last summer? And B, why is your kite shiny? I want, I want, I want a shiny kite. Jeez, Can I want to steal my your kite, kite. Mr. Spyro, that tree is so hard to climb. Maybe there's another way to reach the kite. Oh, it sure is hot out here. Uh, yeah, so more subtle hints. If you don't know yet, you will need to come back here when you get the fabled ice breath in which Spark spoiled for you, so I guess I can spoil it too. So yeah, so now you go up here, and it'll send you right back to this Moneybags character, who, as I was may or may not have been saying earlier, you will never see in the entirety of the game as of now. I'm not joking, or at least maybe you see him after you beat the final boss, but that's another... I, I, I tried to kill a fat guy with bubbles. That's not that's not the best way to kill supposed fat guys. Yeah, so you don't really see money bags ever again, so that's what's kind of weird. They kind of give a point to gems in the game early on, but then they're like, well, nope, now you don't need gems at all. 
But they keep you scared, though, so if it's the first time you're playing, you're always like, Ah! Do I need gems or do I not? Where are you, money bags? Anywho, we caught Cinder, and geez, two dragonflies already, and we're only seven minutes in. This is going pretty great. So yes. And now we're in this place that the Toshiro guy, Mr. I'm a very dense dragon elder, has opened for us. And, oh, look at that. That's interesting. There's a door, and more of Spyro's cousins! No, I'm just kidding. Spyro doesn't have tank cousins. This isn't like World of Warcraft, where his cousins decided that they wanted to be tanks. No siree, Bob. Uh, you know what? We are gonna go in the shiny door, because shiny doors are shiny, and that was very redundant to say. And... Welcome to this place! I know, great name for a place, right? And what? what we're in a tank? Sweet! I always wanted one of these. Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gates. Wait, 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 wait. So, is he calling us a dummy tank? Because we're too dumb to know how to get through the gates? Well, I, I, I'm Will not very big on self-destruction. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no problem. We will clear out the arena. Obviously, this guy is secretly to fail at aiming tanks to actually clear it out himself, so why not do his job for him? Ooh, he, I'm driving a tank. You know what? Screw this. We're just gonna drive around in this tank for the rest of the episode. This is exhilarating! Not really, and I would continue on with what I was supposed to do, but I forgot how. So yeah, you can press X to shoot the tank balloon. Tank balloon, yeah, because that's what a cannonball is called, a tank balloon. And after you shoot your little tank balloon, you can press Y to aim, and now you get to control where you shoot your tank balloon. Explosive tank balloon. I wish my water balloons were this explosive. And you can press B to raise your aim, and A to lower your aim. But, uh, in all honesty, I just prefer to hold Y and just aim it myself. I find this a lot more useful than trying to struggle with how the heck you're supposed to aim it. And yeah, so why not get moving? There is nothing in there. You can destroy a ton of stuff, as you can see. And this fabled gate of which he speaks is nowhere in sight. And whoa, 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 whoa. I, I thought I destroyed that thing with telepathy, but no, apparently there was a tank just trying to ambush us. You know, it's really bad at ambushing people. If it wanted to ambush me, it could have just shot, waited for me to shoot down the rock, and then shot me in the face. I would have been, well, oh, that one's good at ambushing, because, you know, no one expects him. No one suspects that dummy tank, because he almost looks like a dummy. Yeah. Alright, so, apparently we're too dumb to figure out that these big shiny targets are what you have to shoot to get through the gate, you know, because, yeah, I guess he really did think we were a dummy tank. And we have rabbits here. I think if you kill those rabbits, it acts just like any other animal. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not cool, man. Not cool. I think we're gonna lose this. Ow. Dude. Oh no, they got you. But I bet you could clear them all out if you tried again. Here's a hint. Wait until they shoot down a wall, then hit them fast while they're reloading. Yeah, I noticed they're not too good at waiting to shoot down walls. Yeah, let's try this again, shall we? So we meet again, Arch Nemesis Tank, who is running behind a wall. Jeez, these, these dummy tanks are not your average dummy. Anywho, I'm just going to kill this one. And so we meet again, wall that conceals the other tank that is my Arch Nemesis. Because, okay, you weren't concealing any tanks at all. That was moderately surprising. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by some more tank balloons front coming in the opposite direction, you know. Whoa, holy crap! Okay, so apparently tank balloons are going to keep interrupting me until I kill it. You see these rabbits? If you squish them, funny thing is there actually is a butterfly that comes out when you squish them. And it does give you back health, so I guess Sparks is just chilling somewhere in that tank there. He's like, I don't need to see the action. You're probably going to suck anyways. Well, if our first run of this is any indication, he's probably right. We're not the best tank shooters. Well, that's okay. Because we got the homing tank balloon. Wait, we didn't get anything. What am I talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to shoot you before you shoot me. That sounds logical, right? Well, that is the way to do it. 
and there's no, nah, there's nothing else in there. I don't know, for some reason I feel like I want to explore every corner, and when I can't fully see that it's an obvious dead end, I'm all like, well, it might not be a dead end. There might be something amazing behind there, you know, like, super secret power-up that'll give you infinite gems, because, you know, you totally have to use them any other point in the game, other than paying that one little troll, I mean, toll booth guy. So, let's just shoot down this door. Shoot down this door. I don't even know if those are door. They look like screen, Japanese screen door type situations, or they could just be, like, screens that aren't doors. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful speech right there. It's either a screen door or it's a screen that's not a door. Amazing. So, anywho, let's just shoot down. As you can see, there are quite a few tanks to kill, but, um, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, especially if you're taking it cautious like me and you're trying to stay away to avoid getting ambushed. It's really when you get, like, multiple tanks in a row shooting at you, it's kind of difficult to get out of that alive, because, as you saw, they'll just keep shooting and keep shooting. And it's never really gonna stop, and you're gonna be like, No, I want to shoot back, but I don't know how! Because, you know, we actually are more dumb than dummy tanks. And that guy just blew up a thing and made a rock fly in its face. That If only the rock actually killed it. But, sadly, it doesn't, so we're gonna have to kill it ourselves. Jeez, that was a fast-traveling, I mean, far-traveling. It, it traveled far, okay? I know how to talk. Talk. I don't know. That, that's it, that seems to be a common thing, or I don't know if that's just me pronouncing the word talk without the L, because I'm a lazy human being, as most are. Anywho, so you can break through this, you can break through this, you can break through this, you can break through everything! This is part of the things that make tanks awesome, guys. It's that... They just won't stop breaking things. And shoot him over there. Yeah, my aim is perpetually awesome. Once again, I feel like there should be something back there, but there probably isn't, and I'm probably... I I'm, I'm thinking too far into this. Follow the, I don't know, petal blossom tree. I, I don't know what kind of trees those are. I wanted to say, like, sakura trees, but I really don't actually know what a sakura tree is. And I'm pretty sure they are more so leaves and less so purplish-looking flowers. And speak of purplish-looking flowers, that tank looked nothing like a purplish-looking flower. Yeah, totally. And, whoa, we have 17 on 21. Better not die right here, which is probably what's going to happen, I know, right? I know myself so well in these things. I'm going to shoot you. And... I'm going to shoot you. And I'm going to shoot you. And we are going to end off the video here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that mean. I'm, I'm finally going to get three dragonflies in a video. It's going to be pretty amazing. And I, I couldn't end the video here if I tried because, well, it, it'd be annoying to just get back here. But, well, I guess I could because annoying doesn't mean impossible. Anywho, there we go. We've killed all the tanks and we haven't even destroyed everything. Well done, Private. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. Okay, again. What the hell? Smart enough to shoot target- D Do people not know what a target is in Spyro Land? You, you know, a target? The things that say shoot me every time you see it? I, I don't even know. Okay, well, apparently I am, I'm just Einstein in Dragon World because I know what a target is. It's beautiful. So, yes, I guess we get the dojo mascot who turns out to be a dragonfly. Called it. And somehow we just, like, pull out our bubble breath and shoot him because he's all bubbly now. Cub. Yeah, he's, like, a cub. If you'd like, I can set up some more dummies for you. Uh, no thank you. I, I think, I, I don't think my brain can handle just deciphering like what a target practice? is anymore. Nah, that doesn't sound like much fun. Well, As you've seen, there bad. are some doors well, that'll lead into minigame type areas where mind. you actually can get two dragonflies out of it, but others will only have one in them, and this is one of them that only has one in them. And everyone knows that if there's no dragonflies, we don't need to do it. That's good logic, right? And it's, it's, sounds good to me. I mean, like, geez. If I'm not getting rewarded for being in a tank, well, I guess, I guess being in a tank period is a reward. And this, my friends, will conclude this episode of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. After I destroy this, by the way, these butterflies in a jar, I might as well have explained that earlier, but they're like special butterflies because you know they come from a jar and that's really the only difference, but because they come from a jar, it gives you a live. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
Yeah, and you don't want to run out of lives, because that'll actually kick you out of the level and stuff, and it's no fun whatsoever. So in the next episode, we will not go back in the tank area, so I don't know why I'm staring at you. Thank you, auto-correction thing that is not really an auto-correction thing, I don't know. The game's like that sometimes. If you're, st if you're looking at a camera angle it doesn't like, or if you're looking away from where Spyro's looking, it'll just turn it back for you for some reason. Kind of weird, but cool at the same time. Anywho, that's enough blabbering. I'll see you guys in the next episode.